How to do Asian eyes is another question we get a lot. The number one rule when doing Asian eyes is not to try to do them like you would a Caucasian eye. You can add shadow to their crease, but with an Asian eye, their crease is not where the fold would be, but in their orbital bone, so you may have to feel where that is on your customer. You can always opt for the look in which you darken the corner of the eye and lighten the inner part. This is an easier way to do it and it can be much more flattering for your client and better for you if you're not very good at eyeshadow application. I'm going to start by using the quad Eternity, using the gold color on the inner point of the eye. Using my shadow brush, I'm going to be placing it on the lid using a patting motion. Going all the way up to that orbital bone that you just felt on her lid. spice color in the Eternity Quad all over the lid in a pressing motion. With your crease brush, blend out the edges in a windshield wiper motion back and forth, going upward and inward and outward. Want to be sure that the shadow is nice and smooth and not chunky. Next, using your crease brush, we're going to use the color Mink in the Eternity Quad. With this color, it's going to go in the outer corners of the eye. blending into the lighter shade. Start at the base of the eye and work your way up. Blend with a clean brush. Again, using your crease brush, apply the color mink to the outer corner of the eye. Using your eye lip brush, go in with the darker shade to add more depth. Using your eyelid brush, apply the color Silken underneath the eyebrow. This will highlight the brow bone and give the appearance of a lifted eye. This will also give the eyebrow more shape. You can go back with your eyelid brush and apply more of the lighter shade to make the color more intense. Using your eyelid brush, use the tip of the brush in the darker color of the quad. Help your client look up and go directly into the lash line, just with the tip of the brush.
using your eyelid brush, dab the tip of the brush in the color mink, and use the tip of the brush to go right into the lower lash line of your client. Using your crease brush, go back and blend the edges. If your client wishes to go darker with her look, apply with the eyelet brush the color Black Opal that's in the Starlet Quad. Tap off your excess and apply to the corners of the eye. Blend with your crease brush. Use the tip of your eyelet brush one more time with black opal. Have your client look up and go underneath the eye as well, just in the corners. If your client wants to go a bit darker, you can opt by using black opal in the starlit quad by using your eye lip brush. Apply the black in the corners of the lid on top of the dark brown. Using your concealer brush and what concealer you use on your client, clean up the angle where the edge of the eye For the Asian eye, I recommend using our gel eyeliner. This is very water resistant and in case your client has a fold in her eye, it won't smudge into the upper lid. Apply directly to the lash line using long strokes.
Next, using blackest black eye pencil, rim the inner side of the eye. Blech, sorry. Okay. <laughs> rim the inside of the eye. <laughs> the waterline, yeah. Next, using the blackest black eye pencil, rim the waterline of the eye. 